Hi, I'm Claire Gilmore and I'm a member of the Redemptorist Parish Mission Team. Thank you for joining me today as I share some thoughts with you. For the past few months I've been working as an agency care worker and it's been a source of great blessing. I've had the privilege of going into people's homes and receiving from them the greater privilege of getting to know them and they have been inspirational. The saying goes that before you pass comment, you should walk a mile in another's shoes. Well, all of you listening to this thought from a distance have spent the last number of weeks doing exactly that, walking in another's shoes. You see, what I've learned as a carer is that lockdown isn't much different to some people's regular life. Due to age or illness, there are many people whose lives are now spent permanently inside four walls. The thought I would like to share with you today is drawn from the wisdom in the lives of these wonderful people. You see, what I've observed time and again is that gratitude plays a major part in the lives of those I care for. Gratitude puts situations into perspective. When we can see the good as well as the bad, it makes us realise just what we do have. It's something I've noticed during Avenas of the hundreds of petitions and thanksgivings that come in, the thanksgiving pile is always smaller. It's not that we deliberately forget to practice gratitude, it's that life sometimes gets in the way of appreciating the gift of the present moment. Living gratefully is something you and I can practice every day. It's as simple and difficult as becoming aware that every moment is a given moment. It is a gift. A gift that provides us with the opportunity to acknowledge the good things that are in my life. In the spirit of those in the community that I have met working as a carer, and in the words of Meister Eckhart, if the only prayer you said was thank you, it would be enough. As the restrictions of lockdown lift for you and I, let us take time to pay attention and to take note of God's goodness and to name the things I am grateful for. Thank you.